ladies and gentlemen. This is a correct sentence structure communication parse syntax grammar mini class having to do with a little bit more closure on the full colon and also of spacing. Because of late, I've had some people send me some very interesting uh, data, some interesting material off of YouTube from individuals who have obviously studied the almost 400 videos on my YouTube channel. But of course, on their channel, they don't give me any credit or even mention my name. But it's pretty obvious that they've been studying. But then they've taken it a step further and created their own type of rules or whatever having to do with the colon which when i look at and i won't mention names because i don't want to this isn't anything personal against anyone this is just talking about what's correct grammatically in line with the mechanics of the grammar technology and these individuals that I'm referring to, I'm sorry, that are re I'm referring to do not have closure on the grammar as evidenced by the videos that I've seen on their channel. So instead of pulling up like examples of what they did and what is not correct about it, I'm just going to show you what is correct and then show you some examples of what I've seen people doing that they think is uh, the correct thing to do, to do, but actually makes no logical sense within the buoys of the grammatical rules of correct sentence structure communication parsing syntax grammar. So, I do have, by the way, multiple videos about the full colon and closure on how it is used in order to maintain that mathematical interface on the grammar if you so choose. Now this video right here, the one that we, we are in the midst of, it's for advanced people. That's the target audience. Simply because you would have to know the colon mechanics or at least have a rudimentary grasp of them in order to cognize what I'm about to say. And I have multiple videos giving closure to the full colon on my YouTube channel. So here's an example if you look at it. Right here is a very simple basic sentence. For the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by a claimant. And then here it is using the colon mechanics for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by the claimant. This says exactly the same thing as this using the full colon mechanics, the full colon representing particular specific position lodial phrases, but you have to know the sequencing in order to do that correctly because backwards it says the same thing for the claimant of the knowledge is with the facts by the claim. Same thing here. I would say for the claimant of the knowledge is with the facts by the claim. The colon would maintain the same spacing. Now, what is the reason for spacing, do you think, logically in your mind? Why do you think there are spaces when we write? Well, the same for the same reason that there are spaces when we verbally speak. If I did not pause briefly in between each word or sentence, it would be hard to understand what I'm saying. You have to pause in order to, for the ease of the communication, for the other contract parties that are listening, to be able to cognize word groups. Okay, this is a word. He paused very briefly in between this sound cluster and this sound cluster and this sound cluster. So these are separate words. And then when I pause um, a little bit longer, then perhaps that's this cluster of words. And then there's a longer space. And so now the next sentence begins or the next thought begins. Spacing is critical to comprehension, to cognition of what's being communicated, especially on a geometric level playing field, such as correct sentence structure. So if I didn't have the spaces in here, how do you think that would look? Do you see where I'm going with this?
Now, you could assume to go in and say, well, that does say for the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by the claimant. You might be able to see that. But what I see right now is just one big pronoun. That's it. So the spacing is critical for the ease of the communication. And the same thing goes for the colon. Now here it is graphed. So you can see it a little bit better. For the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by the claimant. For the claim of the facts is with the knowledge by the claimant. Notice the spacing of the colon. And again, you will see people make the same mistake over and over where they will start their sentence or word group like this with a space between the colon and the facts. That is not correct. Every correct sentence structure starts with a cause and that is represented by for the, or more specifically the positional for, F-O-R, and this colon with no space in between the colon and the fact represents for the. And then when it comes after the verb at the end of the sentence, it's by the, so that it maintains the mathematical interface when you flip it, for becomes by, of becomes with. That's why there are only four positionals, because they each serve a specific fun uh, function. For is the cause, of is concern, with is possessive, and by is authority. For is congruent with by, of is congruent with with. Now let's move on to what some of these people on these YouTube channels are saying and their reasoning that I've seen. So their reasoning is when you read this 1111, it reads for the 11 of the 11. Folks, this just isn't true. What I see right here is one big pronoun because first of all, there's no spacing. And second of all, it has not been positioned correctly. So I have positioned it. You see here a colon, a tilde, you see four 11s and then a period. This reads for the 1111 or for the 1111. If you choose to use the colon within uh, the now space location mechanics, you can say for the 11 of the 11 period. And actually, to be more precise, you would put a tilde there as well. This would be the 11 hour. This would be the 11 minute. You could also do it this way. If you even want to be more precise. For the hour 11 of the minute 11. There are all sorts of different ways you can write this. And these are all correct. This is a pronoun. This is a fact. These are facts. So here's what it looks like, a simple claim with no spaces in between the colons and the facts. And when you graph it, it looks like this. <laughs> so basically what you have here is two clusters of symbols, of hieroglyphs. Two clusters. One, two. Sorry. Yeah, two. So basically, that's an adjective pronoun scenario. Do you understand what I'm saying? There's no spacing. There's no room for cognition. There's no breath being taken in between the facts or in between the positionals and lodials. That is why spacing is important to the cognition of the viewer. Now, for those individuals who are doing these types of things and using these types of mechanics, I mean, of course, you can create your own construct and your own grammar technology where this is the way you do it. And, if you know, you might get some people who are in joinder with that type of thing and want to contract with you using those particular mechanics. 
I certainly won't be one of them. I will stick to the original technology of correct sentence structure, communication, parsing, syntax, grammar, as taught by Colin David Eifenwin, Colin Miller, as brought to the public by uh, Colin David Eifenwin, Colin Miller, and then further refined and uh, simplified, and if I may dare say, you know, updated by myself and Colin Raven, hyphen Farhad, hyphen Tohidi, Colin FRM. It's always a matter of distilling things down, making them simpler, and making the ease of the communication paramount. It's the most important thing, especially with this stuff, because people, people who have never even heard of this, if you're trying to introduce them to it in a real life now space scenario, um, it has to be done as simple as possible. And this right here, even Microsoft Word, I mean, just puts the old red lines under it. It's like it, Microsoft Word doesn't know what the hell we're talking about here, okay? So there you have it. I hope this provided a little bit more clarity and focus. Keep in mind also, and this is just a suggestion to my loyalist and contributor students on this YouTube channel. When you're looking at other correct sentence structure tutors or videos, what are their credentials? How long have they been doing it? How successful have they been with their students and things like that? How many videos does their YouTube channel have? What do the comments say? So on and so forth. Do they credential themselves? Do they put their face on camera and their correct name and make it very easy for you to certify what they're saying? These are all things to take into consideration. And I have no issue saying that because I myself, as I stated at the beginning, I have almost 400 grammar videos on this YouTube channel certifying my knowledge and the way I teach things, the mechanics. I talk about the same mechanics over and over and over, but from different angles, um, different viewpoints, so that it can be taken in by a multitude of different types of personalities and different types of people and cultures. Um, literally, I could probably whittle all those videos down to maybe 50 videos, putting out the essential basic mechanics However, not everyone learns the same. So that's why I do things and re get repetitive on it, such as this video, explaining things I've already explained, but from a different angle. For those that perhaps don't get it from all the other angles, maybe this angle will be the one that, that causes them to go, aha, now I get it. Now I know why they're spacing. That makes logical sense. You have to take a breath in order for you to understand me, especially if we're foreign to one another, which we are. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you're interested in applying for a grammar workshop, you can email me at jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. Again, you know, I've been teaching this for five years to literally hundreds of people all over Earth. Um, I've pretty much refined it down to a science teaching this stuff. And this year has been my most successful year yet. People are learning it very fast because they've been studying my YouTube channel before they come to me. They just basically come to me to, to refine what they've already learned. So feel free also to study the YouTube channel. It's my gift to my fellow mankind. Almost 400 videos on there. If you're interested in quantum grammar, it's an awesome spot to look at. Thank you again. Peace. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it provided some clarity on the subjects mentioned. You can email me at the email address that's uh, been screened at the bottom of your picture for the whole video, jasonmatthewg17 at gmail.com. If you have any grammar questions, or if you wish to participate in a 10 to 15 minute video consult, or if you wish to apply for a correct grammar workshop, you can email me there. Uh, please like and subscribe to this channel and also my Coral Blade Grotto channel if you'd like. And always remember that authority comes from knowledge and the skill in conveying that knowledge and closure. Thanks.